Hello, and welcome to this final um, update on Hurricane Milton tonight. It's almost one in the morning. You can see the heavy rain is now shifted to Orlando. You can see where that heavy band is. The storm's definitely looking pretty lopsided on the radar. You can see definitely getting more of that almost like an extra tropical look to it, uh, but still it is causing damage. Um, let's get to the latest from the National Hurricane Center on Milton uh, because uh, the latest update are at 12 a.m., Flash flood emergency continues over portions of West Central Florida, and damaging wind, winds continue to spread inland. So we still have the flash flood emergency uh, going on. Um, and at Tampa International, this was at, 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 as of midnight, 58 mile an hour, sustained wind with a gust to 93, uh, and a citizen, a, a sustained wind of 45 and a gust to 64 at Orlando Executive Airport. And uh, the ma uh, the next position update will be at 1 a.m. So hopefully, maybe by the time we finish this update, we will have the latest position on Milton. Um, and this is old information, so I'm not going to read it. Uh, what we can do is look at some of the observations, which are current, or most of them should be. Let me just take this shading down just a little bit so we can see what's going on. You can see this area in the dark red, 68-mile-an-hour wind gust, Lakeland. Uh, west north northwest at 43 gusting to 68 um air pressure is really low too um and again that landfall was around siesta key uh, which is uh, just offshore from sarasota um yep this airport is down so it looks like the we've lost that airport uh probably they've lost power or internet connectivity uh tampa still gusting to 66 as well they've got the north wind um, and the wind direction luckily has been for Tampa. Luckily, the track was a little south of Tampa, which really helped avoid the Tampa got spared. Uh, really, this could have been much worse. Um, all right. We have a 77 mile an hour wind gust at Avon Park um, at range one, a south southwest gusting up to 77 miles an hour. Um, so some very strong wind gusts, even all the way, even though we're going farther from the center, all the way down here. 57 mile an hour wind gusts being reported. Um, got uh, 64 mile an hour wind gusts here. Uh, that was Avon Park again. There's two Avon Park ones. Uh, that 77 is pretty impressive, though, considering the center is more like over here. It's not even close to the eye wall. So the structure of the storm is changing, and that actually sometimes can make it worse because the strong winds spread out. Orlando has now gusted to 74 miles an hour. East-northeast wind at 46, gusting to 74. Um, so you can see the center is, is somewhat over here by looking at these winds here. Um, uh, you can see that. That's where the center is. Um, let's go talk about the power outages. We have... 2.269, so 2.29, so 2.2, roughly 2.2 million customers without power right now in Florida. That number might have just gone up 2.290, so may climb up to 2.3. And you can see where the hardest hit counties are on the West Coast. Hillsboro, uh, 415,000 customers out of power. Uh, most of those are uh, almost everybody in the Peace River Electric Co-op is out on this side here. Tampa Electric has uh, a lot. So we have an outage of 58%, uh, which is uh, considering that's not too bad, uh, but it gets worse as you go into. Let's take a look at Pinellas County. They have an outage of 74%. Uh, they're served by Duke Energy. Um, and then we go down into Manatee County. This is where things get a little a little harder hit here. So we go into Manatee County, and we have uh, eighty three percent of customers without power, uh, and some of those are Peace River Electric Co op customers. Some of those are Florida Power and Light customers, and we'll have to see what kind of damage obviously is being done to the transmission system because I imagine there may be some, uh, considering uh, eighty percent outage in Sarasota, and this is where the eye went over. So this got, this this area got the strongest part of the storm um and uh making our way down to uh let's see we that was sarasota then we have charlotte county also hit fairly hard as well ninety three thousand there highlands um we have 40 percent out that way um and polk i think that's where orlando is so 
33% out right there. They have a mix of different utilities here because um, FPL doesn't serve the whole state. You have a whole bunch of others as well, Tampa Electric and uh, a bunch of others. Um, so uh, let's go look at Tampa Electric. Tampa Electric and look at their outage map right now and see if we can get their outage map. FPL doesn't actually have a map. They just go by county. Uh, but uh, Tampa Electric does, so probably because there's just so many. Um, but, yeah, there's a lot of outages here. A lot. Look at this. This is, this is pretty crazy looking here. So you can see there are a lot of outages. The central part of the city has has power. Uh, but look at that. There are a lot of uh, outages here. Look at that. That's it's having trouble even handling, it, the, handling the information because there's so many. Um, this is mostly on the distribution side, but we don't know. There may be damage on the transmission side, uh, but I can tell you that some areas do have power. Uh, so, uh, and I want to show you something. So let's go to the University of uh, of uh, Tampa and show you what the eye wall was like. And they were in this eye wall for a while. I would say hours. They never got into the eye at Tampa. They got lashed with this really vicious eye wall. Just to show you some clips here of. Uh, what it looks like here. Um, you can see the really strong winds, blinding rain going on here. Um, and you can also see some power flashes too as well. Get to see some of that going on as well. Um, there were some that did happen over here. Uh, you can see how they're just getting lashed uh, by these really, really strong winds here. Um, yeah, look at that. That's, that's definitely hurricane force. Uh, really powerful. Look at that rain. You can't even see anything. The rain is coming down so heavy. Uh, and that's the other thing, obviously, the fresh water flooding from the rainfall, which we got to talk about as well. So I'll show you again what some of these look like. You can sort of see where the lights went out a little bit temporarily there. So we'll go over here. You'll get to see another one of these squalls come in here. Just to show you how intense this is, this camera actually has been able to stay up for most of the... Look at that. You can't even see anything there. Um... He says that this is the eye wall. Can't see anything. I mean, literally just, just a white wall of white there. And I'm amazed that the lights are still on. Uh, they had a couple of blinks there, but uh, let's see if I could find where it blinked out. But uh, there were a couple of blinks there. Try to find it. Yep, there you go. You got to see that. There was a flash right there. So, um, yeah, that's, this is what the conditions were like for hours in Tampa. So it's this really heavy rain and very strong winds uh, just lashing this area for, for a very long time. You can see that traffic light's now flashing because its power got interrupted. Um, but, um, yeah, this is, uh, that was quite a flash there. I don't know if that was on the transmission line or not. Um, but uh, this camera right along the riverfront here. And again, really impressive. Look at that. Yeah, there's another flash. Uh, so these are, this is what it was like in the eye wall. Uh, very intense eye wall. And again, it lashed the eye wall. They stayed in the northern eye wall the whole time, uh, Tampa. So they didn't, they didn't actually get the eye. They didn't get the break that Sarasota did. And they were just lashed with the eye wall. And that means, that means they're getting more rain out of it as well. So uh, yeah, really intense. I think it's died down now. Yeah, it's not nearly as bad now. You see the lights are on in the city, uh, which is amazing that they've been able to hold the power grid there. Uh, really kind of shows you how good, the, how well it, it is designed over there. It really is quite something. And just to show you where the University of Tampa Camel is, we'll go look at Tampa right now. Um, just to show you where that was that we were looking at. So Tampa's right here, the University of Tampa is somewhere around here, I think. Somewhere around here, somewhere in this area here. River river camera, so this is the river camera. So somewhere in this spot here is uh, where we were looking at, right over here. Um, and that power flash was uh, somewhere over here. But uh, I don't even have above ground power lines here. Let's just take a look and see, do they have? I guess they do have some, okay. So they do have some above ground power lines, but I think it's somewhere in this in this location over here where, where we're looking at, I think. I don't know. I was looking toward the city, so let's see, University of Tampa. Let's see, I don't want to waste your time too much here. We'll just do this. University of Tampa. It's funny because I, 
I, I was looking for it and I found it and then I, of course I forgot where it is. So gotta find where it is. Okay, yeah, it's over here. Okay, same University of Tampa or right here. Okay, so I don't know which way it was looking. Um but it's in it's generally in this area right here. So this yeah, the university. So it's probably looking uh Let's see if the wind is blowing from the... Yeah, it's probably looking this way. So, probably in this area. So, I don't know where that flash came from because they have all underground power lines over there. Might have been a substation or something over here that flashed over. Um, but, uh, whatever. I'm not going to... I'll look for that outside of the weather update. Let's take a look at this. Uh, you can see here, this is what happened to the Tropicana Stadium. Tropicana Field. The roof has been ripped off of Tropicana Field. Here's a, it was even used as a shelter, too, for uh, some of the first responders. Uh, so now they're going to have to evacuate that. You can see here that the roof just got ripped off from a Milton. Here's another look at that. Uh, really incredible. So um, let's go back to our observations here, and let's take a look at rainfall and see how much more rain has fallen uh, and just... <laughs> Look at this. This is just the past hour, and look at that. That's in, I, I I don't think that's right. I don't think someone got 8.83 inches in an hour, but uh, that would be unheard of. But uh, you can see 1.3 uh, in Polk City. Let's see if we can, again, take the opacity down so we can find Orlando somewhere in here. Uh, let's see. Orlando is somewhere over here. So there's Tampa. Somewhere in here is Orlando. Um, but you can see these really high rainfall amounts. And again, if I just move this back over here, we'll just go three hours. This is how much rain has fallen in the past three hours in some of these areas. Three inches. Three inches of rain in the past three hours. What? There's a miniola? There's a miniola, but with two ends. Ha! <laughs> That's interesting. Um... Orlando. It's funny. I don't see... Oh, there's Orlando. So Orlando, uh, 2.59 in the past three hours. Go to six hours. You can see how these rainfall tolls start really adding up again. Uh, we've had a tremendous amount of rain in this area. I'll just go 24 hours here just to show you. Yeah, over a foot of rain in Tampa. 12.53 12 12 at Henry Street at Canal. Um, yeah, so we got a foot of rain. That's an incredible amount of rain right there. Uh, that's in the in the ground there. Uh, that's I'm I'm surprised there isn't more flooding here. I really am. I haven't been seeing pictures of it. It may be happening, but we're just not seeing. I'm, I've been watching the news. I haven't seen anything of it. I've only seen the salt water flooding uh, over at Venice Beach. I'm sure Siesta Key. Uh, but that's 24 hour rainfall. But let's uh, put this to 48 hours. Uh, and you see in the past uh, two days, Orlando's gotten, you can see how the ground is just saturated here uh, with rain because they've had all that rain before even the hurricane even got there. Um, so there's a lot of rain here that has fallen in this whole area. Uh, and that's that's going to cause uh, issues with flooding. Um, and uh, we have this pink. That is a uh, the pink, but we still have that special... Uh, Flash flood emergency going on, I think, right? Let's see. Flash flood warning. Flash flood emergency continues for this area. So we have a flash flood emergency. Let's go to Florida 511 now and uh, look at uh, some of the cameras here. I'm sure things in Tampa have died down quite a bit. Um, and uh, I'll just try to find one here that we can... Show one of the bridges here. I'm just oh, let's look at some of these coastal areas and see if we have any flooding. A lot of these aren't streaming video anymore, it seems. Yeah, many of them just have gone to still pictures. Some of them are not. That's not even current. So a lot of these cameras have gone down. Maybe they are just all down. That's why they're gray. Yeah, see the blue? That was a power flash. So I think these images are old. When was that? It should have the time. I can't read the time there. But it looks like a power flash to me. 
that's definitely old so it looks like we have a lot of the cameras now that have gone down um, that we were looking at earlier we can't find any that are working now in Tampa so it leads me to believe there may be some kind of connectivity issue or the power has gone out over here perhaps it has finally quit in Tampa um, let's see that one is at zero zero twenty seven yeah that's that's old that's not current uh, so yeah it looks like but according to the university camera we still have power so if we go again we look at that camera that we just looked at the power is still on downtown we still have lights uh, so at least at least the downtown area does have power um, Um, they're still getting some very strong winds, though. Very strong winds, but yeah, it seems like it seems like it's a network connectivity issue with Florida five one one, and uh, because the lights are on here, uh, there is light. There are lights. There are power in the in the sense in the central part of the city, at least. Let's let's go. Yeah, I don't see any ones that are green now. They're all all right. These are all out. The ones that are green, I think, are the ones that are working. So that one is still working. Um, but again, this area is... I just wanted to see if there was any flooding in this area here. To at least get some images here of the flooding situation here. Siesta Key, that's an old image. Yeah, it's underwater. So this is the last image we have, but there's definitely flooding along the coast. Um, over here... It looks like it's okay. Let's make our way toward Orlando because they're the ones that are now getting hit. Uh, the Orlando area. So and we have a number of cameras over here. Hopefully these will be working and we can look and see what's going on over here. Let's find one that's good. Uh, okay, this one should show. hopefully work. Oh. See, it's done. not wanting to load. So it's possible the site is just getting a lot of people using it here we go so this is what's going on in Orlando right now yeah you can see those uh, really blind uh, the blinding rain there that's coming in the strong winds uh, that they're dealing with obviously the storm has weakened uh, we should actually have the latest update from the hurricane center because I want to know how intense this thing is so let's see if we can get the latest they said there'd be one in it still not an updated one all right we have this one this is the only one we have is this little one here they don't worry right, they do have a the next position update will be with the immediate. So the still, all right, this is their position update 40 miles south, southwest of Orlando, Florida, at about 65 miles west, southwest of Cape Canaveral. It's weakened to 90 miles an hour. Uh, it's moving east, northeast at 16 miles an hour. Minimum essential pressure 970 millibars, 28.64 inches. So it is weakening. Um, but we did have a gust up to 67 reported at Cape Canaveral uh, as of this latest update. Uh, so the storm is still ongoing. Um, so we'll pray that everybody stays safe in Florida. Unfortunately, I did hear that there was one fatality, and unfortunately, there probably will be more. This is why people need to evacuate or hunker down. Uh, being out in these kind of winds is very dangerous. Uh, trees falling down, uh, things like that. This one here doesn't look too bad, uh, but they may just end up getting into the worst of it yet. Yeah, the worst the bands are probably somewhere over here let's see if we can find yeah there you go that looks pretty rough over there uh, but the power is still on so we'll see if orlando's power grid can hold up uh you can definitely see that uh blinding that that rain there and that wind blowing but uh, it is weakening slowly uh but it's still gonna probably emerge at hurricane strength off the east coast later in the morning so um i don't know if i'll have an update for you in the morning or not we'll just look at this one here if i can get it to load uh you know i've been following this and obviously i'm sorry it does take a toll on me especially with everything else going on in my life seeing all these horrible things happening in the world it's upsetting um but anyway we're praying for everybody in florida and stay safe and hopefully, uh, hopefully the the, wor the 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 worst potential of this storm won't be realized. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, hopefully it it won't be. But well, we don't know until the morning. Um, uh, like I said, I haven't heard a lot about flooding. I haven't heard a lot about um, 
um, um, you know, both the salt water flooding along the coast. I haven't seen much information on that. And I haven't heard much about the flooding inland from all the rain, as well as you know, damage to the power infrastructure. That I just, that I just can't tell you, um, and I, I don't know. We'll know by tomorrow. So that will be it for this Milton update. I will be having another video on Milton tomorrow sometime. Have a good night.